try to keep this brief and quick and straight to the point because um for y'all who don't know i live in cleveland ohio and then the current time is oh shit 12 45 a.m see that 12 45 a.m and i have class in the morning at 10 45 which means um, I have to be up in the morning. However, I was just perusing on the internet. I love that word, perusing. Well, I was on Facebook, actually, and I seen there's a Facebook page, like a Kardashian fan page that I liked, and I get the little updates, and something grabbed my eye. My It grabbed my pupil and pulled it out of my head and said, get out of that bed right now and get in front of that camera. Because I have a new a new person to induct in my for real, you can't be serious category or Hall of Fame, if you will. And normally I don't put just anybody in this category. Because like, you really have to take me over the edge of glory to get in this category. Like Kaya's here, Ray J's here, um, Amber Rose will be here soon. And this next person, this next person just like literally pulled me. I, I was in the bed, y'all. I promise y'all I was in the bed because it's 1245. And I seen this and I instantly got up and was like, turn the camera on. We have to. Chris Humphreys, you can't be serious with your life right now. Let me tell y'all what apparently is going on with him as of late. If you've been living under a rock and you have no type of connection to any type of pop culture but me, let me inform you on who Chris Humphreys is. Apparently, he plays for the New York Nets, I believe. Or at least that's what I hear. As far as I know, I've never seen him with a ball in his hand except for on this season, but I always see him sitting on the bench. But that's beyond the point. He married Kim Kardashian approximately four months ago. And they're divorced now because whatever reasons but he is apparently battling to get Courtney and Kim take New York taking the show canceled completely so let me just like I have I, I have this one time I actually sat on my computer and pulled stuff up and did like references and things of that nature this is gonna get good so, I found, it said, apparently he didn't like the way he was being portrayed on the show. And after Kim, there's a um, part of the show where Kim was talking to Chris, Mama Chris, about her marriage. And she was just saying that something didn't feel right about it. And apparently this enraged Chris, the real Chris, like the Chris man, Chris Humphreys. Why did she marry him and his, her mama name is Chris? That just confuses me, but it apparently, no, it's not sirens in the background of my video making it sound like I'm some type of hood figure. I hope y'all don't hear them, but apparently he was infuriated by that and he just felt like, let's see, what did it say? Where'd it go? Because it says something. He said something that was like out of loop. Chris was very pissed off at what he saw on TV. The sources revealed this is what Life and Style is reporting. And somebody had to calm it out. Apparently, he was really upset. He went on Twitter and said, Can't wait for. Now I sound like I live in the hood. Thanks. Apparently, he went on Twitter and said, He can't wait for the truth to come out, followed by the hashtag FCC which is the Federal Communications Commission's, which oversee TV broadcast 
and they have the authority to remove shows. This is what I have to say to Chris Humphreys after I, since he can't wait for the truth to come out. He says he can't wait for the truth to come out about whatever. And then, this, this is the kicker. Chris Humphreys is convinced that Kim Kardashian used him for publicity. Let's just, how much time have I spent on giving y'all background? Okay, five minutes of background, about four minutes of background. So now I'm just going to straight talk to Chris and y'all about Chris. In order for Kim Kardashian to use you for publicity, I would reckon that A, you need to be somebody of importance, apparently. Um, B, you have to actually do something with your life besides sit on the goddamn sidelines. And C, you're not the brightest. Just as like a random thought, dude is clueless. Like, it was, it, I will never forget. It's a clip on The Soup. It was, he was like, that's what I was watching in one day. I hardly watched The Soup, but this one day I happened to watch it. And he was, he was on some show. Chris Humphreys and his mother were on some show, and his mother was talking. And when I tell y'all, he had the most clueless, like, you ever seen somebody with a dumb expression? But his expression was stuck. Like, that's just his face. Like, he just looks stupid. And I really think he actually is stupid. And I just don't like his... I don't like the person he is at all. He's like a total douche lord, if you ask me. But for him to even believe and fathom in his mind and tell his lawyer, look, we need to do something to get this show canceled because I don't like the way I'm being portrayed. I feel disrespected, all this hoopla. If you think that you about to mess with Chris Jenner money... Or for that matter, Ryan Seacrest money? Because you feel like you don't like the way you were portrayed? You must be dumber than you look. You have to be dumber than you look. There's no other way around. There's no other there's no other explanation. You have to be dumb. Like completely stupid. If you think this multimedia family, like it's not it's not just Kim. It's all the Kardashians. You think you about to mess with their money? You dumb as fuck. That's just what I'm here to tell you, Chris. I hope you're listening because <laughs> you about to either look real stupid when you go into court and try to get this, I don't know, what is a motion moved or whatever. Hmm. What did I say? Okay. But, um,. Yeah, you can't just... It's not going to happen. I'm here to tell you. You could, like, save your time and your money because clearly you don't have much. And, well, you might have a little something now that you was dating Kim. Hell, if anything, I would think he used her. She got it. She ain't got to worry about... Kim Kardashian can start working right now and be cool for the rest of her life. You, however, you will have to dribble basketballs or you know, past towels for a couple of more years before you can actually do that. So, and I'm not saying this because I'm a Kardashian fan. I'm saying this because it's the truth. And I'm not here to, what's the word I'm looking for? Down nobody. Yes, I am. Because I, I, I just don't like Chris. I just don't like him and the way he act. I just don't like, maybe if I got to know him as a person, as a real person, <laughs> then, because what I saw on the show, I was like, I didn't like dude from when he was on the last season of Keep when they like first introduced him into the story, because I just don't like his demeanor and the way he comes across. Like he comes across like this dude who's like a fucking Adonis to Jesus and thinks he can just say whatever he wants to and it's okay. And at first, when Kim was like okay with it, I kind of was like, Kim, what the fuck is wrong with you? But then, after time came along, he just started saying more random stuff. Like, when he told her her career was going to be a rap when she turned 40. And wasn't nobody going to know who she was. And then, when he said, um, he said something else out the way. When he was talking about um, Jonathan. That whole thing with him and Jonathan, I was so annoyed watching that episode. Because, 
Why do you insist on harassing Jonathan about his sexuality? I don't understand that for the life of me. Like, and that goes for straight people in general. Like, if I'm here, if I'm here and I'm going to sit here and be like, okay, I'm going to keep pressuring you and asking you, are you gay? Are you gay? Are you bisexual? Are you this? Are you that? You would think that would mean that I'm showing some, some type of interest in you, correct? So, for me to believe that, I think he might be a little on the low low, if you ask me. But I'm not here to judge anybody. Y'all know I love everybody, so. Um, but that just really blew me for him to keep like harassing Jonathan about that. And then he did it in front of Jonathan's date, which really was that was it for me. I was like, you know what? I can't I can't with Chris Humphries anymore. And I I just can't. So I'm just here to say, um, Mr. Humphreys, sir. Please save yourself the embarrassment and like if you marry somebody like some random person like one of the cheetah girls or something, maybe you could pull this stunt off. But you married a Kardashian. You not ain't no way you about to mess up their money. No way possible. And if you think you are, like I said, you're dumber than you look. And I'm sorry, it is what it is. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to keep it one hundred with you. And I wish I could say, like, keep it 100 and not look like a fool because I know I'm not, like, the thuggish type of person. But I be trying to say stuff like keep it 100, but it just doesn't sound right coming from me. So I just have to say keep it 100. So, Chris, Jesus, take your will. Kim, God bless you. I just watched Brandy talk about Chris. I, I'm so glad Brandy isn't, like, a bitter person towards Kim like most people are. I just watched her um, interview on Wendy. It was so touching. Like she said she misses her friendship with Kim and she loves her. I was like, aw. Aw. I remember Brandy was on one of the Kardashian episodes back in the backbacks. But that's beyond the point. I'm done. Um, Chris, you are now inducted into the um, For Real You Can't Be Serious. There will be follow-up videos on you if you pull any more stunts. It's kind of like being on probation. If you pull any more stunts, any any even random bullshit, you will be on this camera again. And I will be talking about you. And this is your first segment. You got to hold 13 minutes out of me. Take it. Run with it. Hopefully you don't. It's like therapy type of thing. Hopefully you don't do nothing else stupid. And don't force me out of my bed at 2 in the morning. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.